Well, hello there, Abominable Snowman. Hello, everybody. It is the day after Christmas. I hope everybody had happy holidays and the new year is right around the corner. I am going into the Motown thrift store. I just stopped at my booth and I took out a bunch of uh, my seasonal Christmas items. I left a few in there, but I took most of them out. And then I put back um, some items that I had taken out before Christmas because I'm like, oh, these are too springy looking. So I put those back into my booth. Taking away all of my Christmas items and a couple non-Christmas items. And I redecorated my booth. I added back some items, moved everything around. I'm still running a 20% off sale till the end of the year. Oh, there's something. Should I take that with me? I think I should. to the Motown Thrift here and see what I can find to flip for a profit. So orange tags are 75% off, white tags are 50% off, and I automatically qualify for the senior discount of 25% off. There's not much left on the seasonal aisle right up front here, but I'm still going to take a look. I am super interested in any and all ornament bags that I come across. I'm not seeing anything in this bag that I'm interested in. Here's another one. Let's turn it around and take a look. And there's another one. I'm not seeing anything in here I'm looking for vintage ornaments. These are ornaments, but they aren't for hanging, they're for tea lights. You put a tea light in the top of them. Bombay and company. They only go for about $10 each, even at 50% off. I can't pick this up. I just wanted to take a quick look at these collector plates. He's got really beautiful eyes. Vintage Asian plate. Oh my, look at that. This plate is depicting a scene from Gone with the Wind. None of those plates sell for very much, so I couldn't put any of them in my cart. This is really neat looking. Let me oh, look at that. This is a heart shaped fox. Maybe a little. I got my first item in the cart. I'm looking for the vintage glasses. These look more modern to me. It's a nativity for $4.98. I can see one of them is chipped. 
It does have Mary and Joseph, Jesus, and some animals, but only one wise man. I crocheted ornaments for my friends this year for Christmas, so I pick up yarn when I see it. I'm liking this little holly dish. It was 99 cents. Julie Yulin Inesco. It's so cute. Did I just do that? Let's do an instant replay. I even scared the lady who was standing next to me. Before I even opened the box to see if all the pieces were in here, I looked this up and it only sells for about $10. I like the corn cob ornament and it looks like there might be one or two more vintage ornaments but I didn't like the rest of the bag. I'm going to keep an eye out for more ornament bags. Maybe I'll get lucky. They wanted $5.98 for this bag. So I looked this up. This is made by Hallmark. It's got a little stand and then each one of the carousel horses fits around it. It's purely just for decoration. They don't sell for a lot so I couldn't pick this up either. I was sad to leave this nativity on the shelf. This bag had cute items, but nothing that I was looking for. I like this Mrs. Claus doll here, this plush. It is a puff -a lump made by Anko for $1.98. She is going in the cart. I've been keeping an eye out for a small Christmas tree. This one did have a plug and lights up. I didn't test it because I don't care if it lights up or not. I just wanted the small tree. The shelves on this side were pretty bare. Not much going on. This was pretty, but I was really interested in the watermelon cookie jar that is just awesome looking oh it has a big chip at the bottom they wanted $9.98 for it I like this enamelware teapot it was orange tag so it's half off of the $9.98 some enamelware goes for a lot of money. It's going in the cart. This was adorable. It is a tea light holder. It's made by Party Light. They come in different colors, but they don't sell for a lot. I wish the Party Light stuff did because it's adorable. I like this vegetable pitcher, but it was all chipped up. Such a shame. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's a Wonder Bread sandwich holder or container. 99 cents. Which one of you guys ate Wonder Bread as a kid? I'm in the area where they kind of group things by color. These were all really pretty. Not seeing anything that I can pick up just yet. Let's take a look at that Easter basket back there. It's cute. It's not labeled. Royal Caribbean Coca-Cola tumbler. 
I was seeing these around. They are also party light, little tea light holders. $6.98. Ooh, what is this? That's looking very promising. These are Blue Ridge Southern Pottery Plates. Beautiful, love the colors. $1.98 each. In the cart they go. I already have this apple, but I can get the rest of the apples here. For four ninety eight, three ninety eight, two ninety eight, and ninety nine cents is just too much money for me. If apples was your theme in your kitchen, these would be perfect for it. The bright yellow of this dish caught my eye. Three ninety eight, Chantel. I did look it up and it doesn't sell for a lot. I also like the looks of this dish. This is a Suratil dish. Neither one of those dishes sell for a lot. Beautiful yellow color. White tag is half off. It would have been a dollar, but it was chipped. I like looking at these metal trivets. I probably should have gotten this one. I looked at it, but I really wanted to see this lusterware plate, and I put it down and forgot to put it in my cart. It was for $4.98, and it was made by Nertaki. It wasn't in the best of condition, so I did put it back. I really like this for Halloween. It was really cool looking. It had some sort of wax residue in there. But for $8.98, it says Summit Collection on the bottom. But for that price, I had to put it back. Making these were all the rage back in the 80s, at least where I grew up. This one looks more like it's for a wedding, but we actually did them for our regular photo albums. You would put a main picture on the front and then all your other pictures go inside the photo album. Remember when you used to print out photos? I was just telling my neighbor about these the other day and I come into the thrift store and I find one. How ironic is that? I have made my way to the back of the store. This is my favorite area where all the china sets, glasses, and mugs are. There are a lot of people back here. It's a very popular area. I saw these beautiful floral blue and white plates. They kept rolling these giant carts of bagged clothes through this area, cart after cart after cart. It was very hard to film or take pictures. I had to keep getting out of the way. I saw these very simple and elegant bowls. They were $2.98, but they were 75% off. The music was super loud back here, so I muted it. The bowls are marked Dutson, made in England, decorated in the USA. Putting them in the cart, and you can also see those blue floral ones in there. I knew somebody was keeping an eye on me. I found a set of enamel bowls with geese on them, but I ended up putting them back. This pattern matches those plates by Nautica, it says Bermuda, 
It's just the saucer. Maybe I can find the teacup. This was gorgeous. I just loved it. They wanted $19.96 for it. It was white tag, which would make it half off. The inside of it was pretty stained up. And they don't sell for as much as I thought. So it went back on the shelf. Do you see those plates sticking out between the other items in my cart? I'll tell you more about them in the haul. Now I'm over in the linen aisle and right next to those afghans was this looks like brand new life vest. Although I didn't film it, I went and looked at all the artwork and this piece jumped out at me and it made it into the cart. I'm always attracted to these vintage thermoses. I think they're great decor items. There's an entire set of dishes that match that one. And also that trivet that I forgot to pick up. This is a fun find and yes, they did make it into the cart. I gave them to my daughter and son-in-law because their house is on a lake. I always go down the craft aisle. You never know what you're going to find. And in this case, I found an entire bag of yarn. I'll tell you more about this in the haul video. I like that they bag all the items up. You can just take a look and see if you find anything interesting in them. That sounds expensive, but it is not entire bag of yarn for that price in the cart. Well, hello there, Bonnie Little Snowman. Somebody moved this from the front of the store to this Christmas area. Doing a quick check on these bagged ornaments. Looking very modern. Not much to look at in the clear glass aisle. Crystal baskets with the diamond cut edges are worth a lot, but you got to look at each and every one of them. This is not one of them. You can even see how rounded the edges are instead of being pointy. It's still a very pretty basket. I usually skip this area with the bags on it, but I decided to look through real quick. Kind of like this duffel, it says Pierre Carden on it. I did look it up, they don't sell for a lot. And they wanted $12.96 for it. Well, I was in there for a long time. My total spend was $85.70. That included my, what they call a senior citizen discount. I'm offended. It's just anybody over 55. And I also got some items that were 75% off. So that's fantastic. And not everything that was in the cart is going to be for reselling. And I'll tell you which is which when I do the haul video. That will be the next video out, so stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. 
Please put any comments down below and please subscribe to my channel.